configure network address translation for IPv4. NAT. Addressing table three routers. Okay, three routers. And PCs. Um, local server. Outside PC and external server. Okay, PCs. Local server. Outside PC and external server. Configure dynamic NAT with PAT and configure static NAT. You will configure router with dynamic NAT with PAT. This will translate addresses from the three internal LANs to a single outside address. In addition, you will configure a static NAT to translate an internal server address to an outside address. You will only configure router R2, okay? The border router connected to internet, only R2. Use an IMAT access list to permit the addresses from LAN1 and LAN2 and LAN3 to be translated. Okay, LAN1. 192.168.10.24 LAN 2.192.168.20.24 LAN 3.192.168.30.24 Specify the LANs in this order Use the name R2NAT The name you use must match this name exactly Okay, go to R2 Command line interface, enter, enable, configure, terminal. Access list, name and access list. Okay, I will use a standard name and access list. IP access list standard, standard. And the name should be R2NAT, case sensitive R2NAT, okay. Enter and permit LAN1, LAN2, and LAN3 in this order. Okay, LAN1, 192.168.10.0.24. Permit 192.168.10.0.24. Use the wildcard 000 255. Enter. LAN2, 20.0. 20.0. And LAN 3, 30, 0. Okay, exit. Create a NAT pool name at R2 pool. Okay, IP NAT pool R2 pool. The pool should use the first address. From 209, 165, 202, 128 through the address space. Okay, use uh, 209, 165, 202. 128 is the network, is the network address. So use the first host address that is 29. Okay, and prefix theory, the, the first is 129 because this is the network. Okay. The pool name you use must match this name exactly. Okay, use this name exactly. Okay, sensitive. Okay, and all translated addresses must use this address as their outside address. Okay, and this is the first in the range and use the last in the range. And the last IP in the range is also 209.165.202.129 Okay? Because you will use only one IP, the range, the first in the range is 129 and the last in the range is also 129. And use net mask uh, theory is 285, 255, 255, 252 in decimal. Enter. Configure NAT with the access list and NAT pool that you have created. IP NAT inside source list 
the list is this R2 NAT, case sensitive R2 NAT. And the pool used is uh, R2 pool, case sensitive R2, R2 pool. And uh, don't forget to use uh, dynamic NAT with path port address translation is uh, overload overload okay enter configure a static NAT to map the local server inside address to the second address from the 209.165.202.128.30 address space okay a static NAT for this local server Okay, the inside IP is 192.168.20.254, the private IP address, but the outside IP is 209.165.202.130, is the public IP address, and is the second address from this network. If 128 prefix 30 is the network, 129 is the first, and 130 is the second. Okay, so that's why you are using 130. Okay, and IP not inside source static, the private IP or inside is 192.168.20.254. Okay, be careful, 20.254. And the outside public IP is 209.165.202.130. That is enough. Configure interfaces that will participate in NAT. Okay, the way serial zero one zero. Okay, uh, this interface serial zero one zero is outside IP address, facing internet. Okay, interface serial zero one zero IP NAT outside. Then this interface. Uh, any other interfaces, serial 011, okay, and you can you can see uh, and show IP interface brief. Okay, you selected serial 010 outside, but fast Ethernet 00 inside, serial 000 inside, serial 011 inside. Configure Configure terminal, faceta interface, faceta net 00, zero. IP not uh, inside, serial 000, zero, zero. inside, and serial 000, zero, zero, one inside. Three interfaces, internal interfaces. Okay. And verify, for, for example, from PC2. Ping the, ping the Cisco that PKA. Cisco is uh, 209.165, 2 of 1, 30. 209.165, 2 of 1, 30. Okay. Enter. Success. Okay, go to R2 and show IP NAT translation. Translations. Now you can see the translation. Inside local is the the private IP address of PC2. Okay, IP config. The IP address 30.10, 30.10. This is the port one. And the translation is this 209.165.202.129. Okay, the first IP in the pool, the first and only IP in the pool. Okay, and the port, and outside local and outside global, the IP of the Cisco server. Okay, and this is the static NAT. But you can verify from outside PC, you can ping the 
the local server using the outside address ping 209.165.202.1.30 success go to R2 repeat IP not translations now you can see uh, outside local is uh, 14 209.165.201.14 outside local and outside global the IP address of outside PC, IP config 209.165.201.14, and the inside local, the private IP address, the inside address of the local server 254, 20.254, in the inside global, the IP address, uh, the outside public IP address of the server 130. Okay, 130. Very nice. 100% thank you very much.